All right, so we're going to continue with our development of our basic SOLIDWORKS parts for our Tech Ed class. Uh, I've already created the videos for um, Block C and Block D, so this will actually be a video for creating a Block F. So if you go into your cohort, or your cohort today and click on the Block F PDF file, it will take you to this picture here. Okay, so this is the one we want to work on today. We're going to take this in the shorter amount of steps as we possibly can. A couple of ways we can handle this. Um, we could draw from the top view here and create this piece and then add this piece on. Um, we could also go in here and create um, a top view of the whole thing and just cut a square off here and cut it down. So either way, that's two steps. I think what I'm going to do on this case is I'm going to go ahead and start with this top view create this block right here and then I'm going to add on this rectangle as a secondary piece. Okay, the material is going to be cedar so when we're done we're going to add our cedar to it um, and then that way we can get this taken care of and have all the properties we need. Now I'm going to go ahead and start off with my solids turned on. Now last couple classes I've gone through and helped you set your templates up so what we're going to do is we are going to switch patterns instead of clicking on parts like we've been doing here we're going to start in the advanced tab. Okay, and you should see now a template, solver templates folder. I want you to click on that tab. What you're going to notice right off the bat is on the top, you're going to have two different types of parts you can create. You can create a part in inches, or you can create a part in metric, which is millimeters. All the remaining pieces here are the drawing borders we were talking about in class that we'll eventually start putting our parts onto this week. Okay, so these are the things that we are adding in. Now, what I want to do is I want you to go to the top left corner here, and I want you to click on the word inches. Now, this is going to be a blank drawing area, but once you get that highlighted there, I want you to hit OK. Now, it takes a second, but pretty soon it will open up a drawing screen, which will allow us then to start picking what planes we want to create from and allow us to start working on our first part. So, looking at this, over here to the left, what I want you to pay attention to is what's called the design tree. Okay, As we begin to build a part, you'll start noticing branches begin to drop into this tree. All right. In addition there, you're going to notice this is where we can add material, but also where our planes are that we can start drawing from. Okay, So I'd like to think of each plane as a separate piece of paper to sketch on, just like we've done in hand sketching class. Now we're going to do digital sketching. Now, what I would like to do is start by drawing this view here. Let me go back into our drawing here. I would like to draw this top view you see right here, just this section here on the top plane. So going back into SOLIDWORKS, I'm going to start by highlighting the top plane and going up to the Sketch tab right here where it says Sketch and turn on my sketch by left clicking, left -clicking the word Sketch. What you'll notice now is that the plane went normal to your screen, which made it flat. The origin went red, which indicates we are now currently in a sketch. And now you'll notice all of your sketching tools are active. What I'm going to do now is just take and take my line tool and start drawing a rough shape of this part. And I'm going to start from uh, this direction, and I'm going to go about left. You go right. It's up to you how you want to do this. I'm going to go to the left here, go up a little bit, left click, hold my left, left click, pull up, left click, left click again, pull up, left click, pull until I start seeing a line indicating where that origin is lined up. When I see that, I'm going to go ahead and left click and pull straight down. Now to deactivate my tool, because I don't want to draw any more lines, I'm going to hit my Escape key. And then I'm going to hit my F key on the keyboard to center this part up. Now what I have to do is I've got the general shape, now I need to actually measure it to the correct size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pick my drawing back up. And I'm going to look at what I have to do for some sizing. So it looks like this gap is going to be three quarters, this will be three quarters, this is one inch, this back wall is two and a half, and this wall is two and a half. All right, so I'm going to try to remember those numbers that go through here. 
I'm going to turn on my Smart Dimension tool, and I'm going to start clicking on things. Okay, now if you don't know what 3 over 4 is, or 3 quarters of an inch, I can type that in, 3 divided by 4, to get the same effect when I hit Enter. Okay, this right here will be 1 inch. This back here, I'm going to make 2.5 inches, 2.5. Two from this very front to this very back, it's going to be two and a half inches. Okay. Or is it? No, wait, wait, wait. Time out. I don't think it is. Go back. No, sorry. That is in the incorrect spot. So control Z that, undo. Delete this dimension. I apologize. That is incorrect. Smart dimension this line is 2.5. Okay. <clears throat> now, um, this length right here is going to be 0.75, and then what I'm going to do is make um, this line here. I'm going to actually, oops, sorry, go here, and I'm going to make um, what I got going on here. Hold on. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, I need to make this here also. Sorry, I gotta make this dimension right here. This will be 0.75. There we go. So now everything's black. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of pull that in, bring this in a little bit tighter so you guys can see it. Bring in some of these numbers. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it so I can hit the F key. So there's the F key. Okay, and there is my closed part. The biggest thing we're looking for here are all your lines black. If they're not, that means we got to put some more information in there. Okay, it could be also that maybe your lines aren't perfectly horizontal or they're not perfectly vertical. There are ways to correct that. I can float around and help you through that. Now, from here, I have my closed figure I want. So what I need to do next is going back to the drawing. I need to extrude this, this box I just drew, one and a quarter inches. So going back into my SOLIDWORKS, I am now going to go to my Features toolbar, because this is the third dimension now. Click on my Extrude Boss Base. SOLIDWORKS is now going to rotate it into what's called an isometric view. It's going to automatically put a 0.1 thickness on it. I would like that 0.1 to change to one and a quarter, which is 1.25, and hit Enter. As you can see, it looks much thicker. It looks good, so I'm going to hit my green check mark. Okay, now it already has kind of material on there. We'll change that here up in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to hit my F key to center this up. Now, from here, what I want to do is I need to add on that small block on the side here. Okay, so I'm going to go back and look at this drawing. A couple ways I can handle it. I could highlight this back face right here. I could draw a rectangle and extrude that out whatever distance it, I mathematically would have to calculate it out. I could also start on the top plane and create a rectangle that is on that, it's going to touch right here, I can create a rectangle that I will then extrude up 5 eighths of an inch. I think I'm going to go with this one here with working from the top plane first. Um, I think it would be easier to do. If you did it the other way, you're, you're okay. Remember, it's just as long as you get the same answer, we're good. So I'm going to go back to my design tree here. There's the new branch we just added. Okay. But this time I'm going to go to my top plane again. And I'm going to start a new sketch. Now, this time SolidWorks did not flip it towards my screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my space bar and do a normal two. Okay, so again, to do that, if you hit your space bar, the normal two is the one with the arrow. Okay, space bar is a shortcut so that you can look at all the views of your part. Now, having it in the right position, I'm going to turn on my corner rectangle tool, and I'm going to left click on this corner. So when it turns orange, I'm going to click on it, pull down and towards my right, and left click a second time. I'm going to hit Escape to turn my tool off. Now, I'm going to go to my Smart Dimension. And I'm going to dimension from this edge here to this edge here. That distance will be 0.75. Enter. 
And then from this very back right here to this very front edge, I'm going to go ahead and make this four inches. Okay, so now I see all my lines are black, which means the solver sees it as fully defined, and that's a good thing. I'm now going to take and do a space bar, and I'm going to hit this little box in the corner. That is my isometric view, so I can see what's going on with this sketch. I will now go to my Features Toolbar and click Extruded Boss Base. Now, the reason it goes up exactly the same height as the other one is because that was the last number we entered in our distance or depth. I'm going to change that to 5 eighths. Now, if you don't know your decimals and fractions really well, you can simply type in 5 divided by 8. 5 divided by 8 and hit Enter. Okay, 0.625 is 5 eighths. As soon as I see that, I'm going to hit my check mark. So there is that other piece. Now, the last thing I need to do is now I've got the part done. I've added another branch of my design tree. I'm going to go and change the material from balsa to cedar. To do that, in my design tree, I find where it says balsa right here. I'm going to right click. Or in your case, it may say edit material, or uh, material not specified. Go to edit material, and go down to where it says wood, and pick on cedar. Apply the cedar, and then close. I'm hit my F key to center up, and now what I'm going to do is save this part. So you want to save this by going to file save as. And I want you to put this into your CAD folder. Okay, so you're going to go into your H drive. Not your CAD folder, sorry, your Tech Ed folder. Um, wrong class, I apologize there. I'm going to go here. I'm going to slide down to my Tech Ed 1 folder or Tech folder, which is right here. And I'm going to name this Block F. and hit save. Okay, so at this point, block F is now done and ready to be put on a drawing. I will do the subsequent drawing in another video. At this point, you can save again, close out your SOLIDWORKS, or you can continue working in SOLIDWORKS and work towards the next assignment, which is block G. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Otherwise, good luck.